Good afternoon. I am honored to welcome family, friends, faculty, alumni, students, and members of the class of 2020 to the annual commencement exercises of St. Thomas Aquinas High School. The 37 members of the class of 2020 have set themselves, themselves apart in the pursuit of academic, artistic, and athletic excellence. The numerous scholarships and recognitions that they have been awarded by many community organizations and universities demonstrates that this is truly a remarkable class filled with scholars, musicians, athletes, leaders, and persons of faith who are committed to service. The time and effort that they have given to the school, their parishes, and the community indicate their willingness and desire to respond to the gospel messages of love and concern. I am sure that this generous spirit will remain with them as they leave St. Thomas Aquinas for future studies and careers. I would like to take a moment to thank the parents and guardians for allowing us to serve your families and entrusting us with your most prized possession. The faculty and the administration appreciate, appreciate your cooperation and assistance as our true partners in the educational process. I pray that you have found the sacrifices and the investment that you made for your child's education well worth the cost. While your child may not always tell you, they are extremely grateful for the opportunities that you have provided them. We would also like to thank our Greater St. Thomas community for their support over the years. Your generosity and devotion to our school allows us to carry on the truth, scholarship, and excellence that is St. Thomas Aquinas. On behalf of the faculty, administration, and the class of 2020, we thank you. I would also like to thank the faculty members who helped push the class of 2020 to elevate their studies, to seek out new passions, challenge them with new thinking, and served as mentors, advisors, coaches, and friends. I believe I speak for all the graduates tonight when I say that we sincerely appreciate the guidance, support, and help that you have displayed over the last four years. Graduates, your time at St. Thomas was unfortunately cut short, but never have we been more proud of you. You have shown resilience, adaptability, toughness, and a positive attitude that we would expect at the St. Thomas Aquinas Night. You will forever remember that as a student you made great friends and created lifetime memories both inside and outside the classroom. As alumni, there is a sense of fellowship you will experience. You share a past, present, and future with the more than 6,000 men and women who walk these halls and the thousands who will come after you. Anywhere there is just one other St. Thomas Aquinas graduate will be a place where you will have a friend. Congratulations. Good evening. It is a great joy that I address the St. Thomas Aquinas Class of 2020 today. It has been quite a turn of unusual events this year. I do wish the circumstances were a little different for you. I know that this has been a difficult year for you, especially with the pandemic restrictions. I wish I could shake each one of your hands and give you a big hug goodbye. Just remember, we are all hoping that we have helped direct you to be healthy and happy adults. One of my favorite quotes is written by William Arthur Ward. Before you act, listen. Before you react, think. Before you spend, earn. Before you criticize, wait. Before you quit, try. There are a few things I want you to remember from your time at STA. Listen to all the ideas and people involved before making a decision. Remember to try something new. Don't just quit because it's something difficult. Give it a shot. Quitters don't accomplish anything. In 
my experience, those who quit have not gone far. As a matter of fact, they are sometimes asked to leave their occupation because they aren't advancing or taking an extra step. Think things through, take your time, and be a leader. Do what is right. Martin Luther King Jr. said, there comes a time when one must take a position that is neither safe, nor politic, nor popular, but he must take it because his conscience tells him that it's right. There will be times when the safe route will seem the most comfortable. You might need to voice a reason of your group, a friend who might not be able making the best decision. You may need to lead a Christ-like step instead of being worldly. Your honesty will help you do the right thing, even when it isn't the easiest. Set goals. Look at them daily. Think about how you can accomplish them. Make yourself go over and beyond, especially since you will now be on your own. The dedication to accomplishing your goals will pay off. Earlier in the year, we had Bill Lehman speak to you about preparing for your first semester in college. He gave you a great deal of pointers on how to make it through your freshman year. I'd like to refresh your memories with some of the concepts he stated. One element Mr. Lehman stated was, be prepared. He reminded you that before class begins, you should download the syllabus, email your professors with any questions you might have. When class begins, sit in the front and turn off your cell phone. Study the same amount of hours for each class as you have for credit. This might sound a little obvious, but this is where students struggle. If you're starting your career, this also applies to you. Show up early, be prepared, ask questions, listen, and stay off your phone. Your friends will be there later when your shift is over so you can chat. Everyone in this class has potential to go the distance and succeed. I know this because I've watched you as seniors this year at FTA. Truth, excellence, scholarship are the keys to success. It's not a secret formula. It's on our seal. This will take you far in life if you follow that direction. We may have only spent two years together, but you have been a very special class to me. Your dedication to your studies, your sports, and each, chunk, and each other have been fascinating to absorb, to observe. We have been in some strange circumstances, but you have taken it to the sky. You are always welcome to visit here at St. Thomas Aquinas. In the words of Rascal Flats, my wish for you is that this life becomes all that you want it to. Your dreams stay big, your worries stay small, and that you never need to carry more than you can hold. God bless each one of you. Anna Elizabeth Benedetti, daughter of Amy Benedetti Dyke. Anna has participated in varsity tennis and varsity track. She received the Ten Tennis Rookie of the Year Award her freshman year. She is also a four-year letter winner for tennis. Anna received a nomination for Eagle of the Cross. Anna was also a Kairos senior leader this year. She is attending Kent State University, majoring in nursing. Congratulations, Anna. She is president of the Students of the Arts Club. Kaylee participated in soccer, softball, and an academic challenge. She was captain of the varsity soccer team and a four-year letter winner in soccer. She was a two-year letter winner in softball 
and captain of Academic Challenge. Kaylee plans to, to attend Texas A&M, major in chemical engineering. Congratulations, Kaylee. varsity basketball and cross country. In basketball, he was a two-year letter award winner in 2019-2020 Division III All-District First Team. 2019-2020 Outstanding Offensive Player Award. In cross country, he was a first-year letter winner. Cadence plans to attend the University of Toledo and major in business administration. Congratulations, Cadence. Star Award, as well as Excellence in Spanish 4, Forensics 1, and Band. He is a senior Kairos leader. He has also received recognition this year for 100 plus service hours. Colin is a four year letter winner in soccer, a two letter winner in swimming, and a two year soccer captain, and in 2019, Defensive Player of the Year. He is the senior class president, a member of Key Club, student of the arts, a Eucharistic minister, academic challenge, right to life, and has participated in our blood drives. Next year, Colin plans to attend the Ohio State University, where he will be studying pre-med. Congratulations, Colin. Elijah Philip Chung. Elijah is the son of Mary Boomhauer and Frank Chung. Elijah participated in football, basketball, and track. He set the school record for football with eight interceptions. He earned the second team All Ohio, All District, and All Star Preps Best of Star County as a defensive back. Elijah plans to attend John Carroll University and major in sports management. Congratulations, Elijah. <laughs> Avion Ali Kohler. Avion is the son of Sharila Kelly and Adrian Kohler. He is on the honor roll and merit roll. Avion participated in football, track, and received honorable mention all NEO Inland District. Avion is planning to attend BEBC Barber College to become a barber. Congratulations, Avion. member of the National Honor Society and is Secretary of NHS. She is a Kairos leader. She has received the Knights of Columbus Scholarship, the U.S. History Award, Academic Letter, President Service Award, Pre-Calculus Award, Overall Key Club Member with the Most Service Hours, and the Eagle of the Cross Award. Emily has received the Sumer Award, 
and the President's Ser Service Award for over 100 plus service hours. Emily is receiving the Commonwealth Bank Scholarship and the Presidential Scholarship from John Carroll University. She will be receiving additional grants from the University of John Carroll. Emily participated on the golf team, Key Club, and Students of the Art Club. She is the Treasurer of Student Council and was Team Captain of Academic Challenge. She was the, Cap the Canton Repository Teen of the Month in March, and she has also received the All Stark County Girls Golf Honorable Mention, All Northeast Ohio Girls Golf Honorable Mention, Golf Scholar Athlete Award, a two run year runner of Golf Leadership Award, Golf Academic All Ohio, and First Tee of Canton. Volunteer of the Year. Emily will be attending John Carroll University and plans to major in Integrated Marketing Communications. Congratulations, Emily. Sydney Jane Doyle, daughter of Thomas and Danielle Doyle. Sydney is a member of both STARS and National Honor Society. She is a four-year letter winner in tennis and was voted MVP during her junior and senior years. Sydney was a Kairos senior leader. Along with tennis, she also active in key club and student council. Next year, she will attend Walsh University, where, where she will be studying marketing. Sydney has also been nominated for Eagle of the Cross Award. Congratulations, Sydney. Jeffrey R. Ferris II. Jeffrey is the son of Jeff and Jennifer Ferris, who participated in football with the first year letterman in football. After high school, Jeff plans to enter the trade and become an electrician. Congratulations, Jeffrey. participated in football, basketball, and baseball. He was a two-year letter winner in football. Antonio plans to attend Kent State University or University of Akron and major in sports management. Congratulations, Antonio. Alexander James Hawkins. Alex is the son of Andrew and Tara Hawkins. Alex is a member of the student council and a dungeon leader. He is a four-year varsity letter winner, first team all Ohio, WHBC team MVP, and holds the record for the most passing yards and touchdowns in a season. He is a first-year varsity letter winner in basketball. He has received the coach's award and scholar athlete award. In baseball, he is a three-year varsity letter winner and first team NCL in 2018 and 2019. Alex plans to attend Kent State University in the fall and major in sports management. Congratulations, Alex. Harvey and Miyuki Hoshi. Mika is 
valedictorian of the class of 2020. She was president of National Honor Society. Tamika also received awards for general excellence, subject awards in math, science, literature, government, Spanish, and art. She also received recognition for over 100 plus service hours. She carries a 4.69 GPA. Tamika is a member of the volleyball and track teams, as well as a member of Student Council, National Honor Society, Student of the Arts, Culture Club, and Key Club. She also received athletic honors of First Team All North Coast League Track, Honorable Mention All North Coast League Volleyball, and Honorable Mention All County for Volleyball. In the fall, Amika will be attending Northwestern University where she will be studying civil engineering. Congratulations, Amika. Caden Anthony Michael Johnson. Caden is the son of Calvin and Rita Johnson. He participated in football, basketball, and baseball while at St. Thomas. He was a two-year letterman in football and baseball. Caden is undecided on college, but plans to major in business administration. Congratulations, Caden. Max A. Kaczynski. Max is the son of Frank and Amy Kaczynski. He is a two-year member of the National Honor Society, Elks Teen of the Month for December, and has received numerous awards in biology, English, and art. Max has participated in football, basketball, and baseball at Aquinas. He was also a two-year member of the Key Club, and had a two-year marketing inter internship. Max plans to attend Xavier University and major in accounting. Congratulations, Max. <laughs> Jesus Antonio Martinez. Jesus is the son of Jesus and Maria Martinez. He has participated in basketball at St. Thomas Aquinas. Jesus plans to begin his career after high school. Congratulations, Jesus. Students of the Arts. Also, he has received the Eagle of the Cross Award and his Eagle Scout. He was also a Kairos Senior Leader and has received recognition for over 100 plus service hours. Luke is a three year letter winner in football, basketball, and track and field. He received first team all conference recognition his junior year for both football and track, as well as first team all conference his sophomore year in track. Luke also received the Golden Knight Award in both football and basketball. Next year, Luke will be attending Ohio University, where he plans to study communication. Congratulations, Luke. Oops, you can stop there. <laughs> Preston William Mitchell. Preston is the son of Dan and Hillary Mitchell. He is a two-time member of the National Honor Society. He's also the Camp Repository Teen of the Month in October and the Alliance Elks Teen of the Month in 
in September. Preston participated in baseball, football, track, yearbook, right to light, culture club, and the students of the art club. He was a two-time football captain, all Ohio special mention for football, first team inland district in football, first place North Coast League in discus, second team North Coast League in baseball, a two-time Coach Bagley Golden Knight recipient, two-time football letter winner, two-time baseball letter winner, and four-time track letter winner at Aquinas. Preston plans to attend St. Mary in the Woods College on a track scholarship. He will be majoring in business administration. Congratulations, Preston. Next year, he plans on attending Stark State, but he will pursue a general studies degree. Congratulations, Eli. Dominic W. Morello. Dominic is the son of Herbert and Kathy Morello. He is a one-year member of National Honor Society. He's a three-year letter winner in soccer and was the captain of the soccer team. Dominic is a member of the National Honor Society and was a junior-senior representative for Key Club. He plans to attend Walsh University in the fall and study sports management. Congratulations, Dominic. She received first team all district honors as well as second team NEO all inland district and honorable mention all Ohio. She was named to the All-Star County second team along with numerous awards prior to attending St. Thomas Aquinas. Addison is a four-year letterman in varsity basketball. Addison has been accepted to Mount Union Bowling Green, and Tiffin. She is currently undecided on which school to attend. Congratulations, Addison. Lourdes Q. Myers. Lourdes is the daughter of Michael and Sinray Dreger. She is a four-year letter le varsity letterman in volleyball. She is a two-time first team, all-league, all-county, all-district winner. She has been named team, league, and county offensive player of the year. In 2017, she was a state runner-up at St. Thomas Aquinas. In 2020, she was named the pre prep volleyball under 100 ACE Ultra Ankle JAV watch list and voted the most athletic female in her senior class. Lourdes plans to attend Purdue University and major in special education. Congratulations, Lourdes. Robin Hope 
Neely is the daughter of James and Ginger Neely. Robin is a two-year member of the National Honor Society. She has been on the honor roll, and she is a member of Key Club and has received the Spanish Composition Award. Robin received a nomination for Eagle of the Cross. Robin has participated in varsity tennis, track, cross country, and Students of the Art Club. She has received letters in track, tennis, and cross country. She received the Track MVP Award, Track Most Improved Award, Tennis Coaches Award, Tennis Leadership Award, Stark County Second Team Honors Cross Country, and Academic All Ohio Track Track Award. Robin is planning to attend Kent State University and is undecided in her major. Congratulations, Robin. Samantha Renee Newman. Samantha is the daughter of Darren and Valerie Newman. She has participated on the tennis team, basketball team, is a two-year member of the Key Club and Right to Life. Samantha is also a four-year varsity tennis letterman. She will be attending the University of Akron major in health professions. Congratulations, Samantha. Asasuna Obrajera. Asasuna is the daughter of Donicio Obrajera and Josefina Martinez. She is a member of the Right to Life Club and the St. Thomas Aquinas soccer team. Asasuna plans to attend the University of Akron and is undecided in her major. Congratulations, Asasuna. Rayshawn L. Owens. Rayshawn is the son of Sophia Horner and Ronnie L. Owens. He has participated in track, played basketball, and football at Aquinas. He is undecided on a college to attend, but plans on majoring in sports marketing and management. Congratulations, Rayshawn. Ethan Michael Pierce. Ethan is the son of Mark and Nicole Pierce. He participated in soccer, basketball, and cross country. He has received the most improved player in soccer. Ethan plans to attend Ohio University and major in accounting and communications. Congratulations, Ethan. Emma Marie Schiller. Emma is the daughter of Chris and Christy Schiller. She has received the Alliance Health Teen of the Month Award. She has been a member of STARS and National Honor Society. She was nominated for Eagle of the Cross Award. Emma participated in varsity soccer, varsity cross country, key club, students of the arts, and was a Kai Ross leader. Emma plans to attend Cleveland State University and major in nursing. Congratulations, Emma. Carmen Michael Setma, son of Michael and Kristen Setma. Carmen was a three-year varsity soccer player. Carmen 
department has earned a second team all conference as well as second team all Stark County recognition. In his senior year, he was also awarded second team all district recognition as well as the STA MVP award. Next fall, Carmen will be attending the University of Akron where his major will be is undecided. Congratulations, Carmen. Gianna Christine Simonetti. Gianna is the daughter of Mark and Patricia Simonetti. She is a two-year member of the National Honor Society and has been member of STARS. She received the President's Service Award for 100 plus hours. She was Vice President of Right to Life. She was the Canton Repository Teen of the Month and the Alliance Elks Teen of the Month for the month of January. Gianna participated in soccer, basketball, softball, key club, National Honor Society, Right to Life, and has been an office aide. Gianna plans to attend Walsh University, majoring in special education. Congratulations, Gianna. participated in varsity basketball at Aquinas and received the following awards. Academic All Ohio, All Ohio Honorable Mention, First Team Best of Stark, First Team Northeast Inland All District. Haley is planning to attend Ashland University in the fall and is undecided in her major. Congratulations, Haley. Jacob Severin Stevens, son of Severin and Mary Jo Stevens. Jacob is a member of National Honor Society and has received recognition for honorable, merit role, stars, and was nominated for Eagle of the Cross Award. Jacob is a member of Key Club, Culture Club, Students, Students of the Arts, and is also an altar server and a Eucharistic minister. Jacob was the 2019-2020 Dungeon Leader and a senior Kairos leader. He was a member of the baseball, basketball, and golf teams. He is a two-year two -year letter winner of baseball, as well as a four-year letter winner in golf. While golfing at STA, he has been, he has been named Newcomer of the Year, Team MVP, Honorable Mentioned, all NEO, second team all NEO, all county honorable mention, and academic all Ohio. Jacob plans to attend Kent State University and study aeronautical engineering. Congratulations, Jacob. State and her major is undecided. When asked what her favorite high school memory was, she replied, seeing my friends at lunch and study hall every day. Congratulations, Elena.
Erica Lynn Warren, the daughter of Lakisha Warren. Erica participated on the varsity volleyball and basketball teams at Aquinas. She is a 2020 All-Ohio Senior Honor, second team 2019-2020 Northeast All-District Basketball Honor, a 2020 Outstanding Student Athlete Award, and a varsity letter winner. Erica will be attending the Ashland University with a double major in social work and missionary. Congratulations, Erica. Yeah, guys! Benjamin Paul Wheeler, son of Jeff and Stephanie Wheeler. Ben has been a member of boys basketball, cross country, and track and field. Ben has received two letters in basketball while earning Division III All District Honorable Mention Honors, as well as the Lloyd Bagley Basketball Legacy Award. Ben has earned three letters in cross country, as well as being a four-year letter winner in track and field. Ben will be attending Ohio University in the fall, where he has been accepted into Scripps College, where he will be studying journalism, communication, and broadcasting. Congratulations, Benjamin. excellence and outstanding performance in forensics. She was a member of both the basketball and softball teams where she led. Next year she plans on to attend the University of Akron where she will study criminal justice. Congratulations for that. You want to stand there? This is great. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Jacqueline Celia Wilson. Jacqueline is the daughter of Dwayne and Joanna Wilson. Jacqueline is the Bella Victorian of the class of 2020. She is a two-year National Honor Society member and is Vice President of NHS. She received the Honors Precalculus Award, Honors Chemistry Award, Spanish One and Two Award, Honors Algebra II Award, Geometry Award, Honors Foundation Science Award, and the Honors AP Calculus AB Award. She was the Kent Repository Teen of the Month and the Alliance Elks Teen of the Month in October. She participated in the Right to Life Club and is president of Right to Life. She participated in Culture Club, Students for the Arts, Student Council, Academic Challenge, Key Club, and was a Kairos leader. Jacqueline received the Kemp Form Educational Excellence Scholarship. She participated on the soccer team, softball team, swim team, track team, and basketball team. Jacqueline was a four-year varsity soccer letterman, a two-year captain on the soccer team. In soccer, she was the first team North Coast League, first and second team All-Star County, most valuable player, best defensive player, first and second team GASCA district. In swimming, she received the most improved award and a two-year varsity, and she is a two-year varsity letterman. Jacqueline will be attending Wheeling, Wheeling University and majoring in biology. Congra congratulations, Jacqueline. <laughs> Erica Catherine Zerbro. 
Gerber, daughter of Christopher and Christina Gerber. Erica is on the honor roll, attended Kairos, and is the Secretary of Student Council. She participated in volleyball, track, softball, and basketball at Aquinas. She received the Coach's Award and honorable mention. Erica will be attending Kent State University, majoring in dental hygiene. Congratulations, Erica.